What's up everyone? This is a boy his tech here and it is actually 1 37 in the morning right now And I'm recording this video because honestly, this is probably the only time of the day when my house is actually kind of quiet To where I can actually record something, but hopefully I don't wake anyone up So I might be talking a little bit low and we'll have to up this volume on my own, but That doesn't matter right now. <laughs> so this is a new video format. So one thing that I'm hoping to do with the channel is add a podcast to it because I love podcasts. I'm, as I mentioned before, I am currently on a podcast called uh, Project Kayfabe. is half wrestling, half pop culture. I'm on the wrestling side of it, the, the wrestling side of things. And I just have a fun time doing it and I want to be able to do more podcasts. So this is going to be like a test run of what that podcast could be. So this is it. Um, so this is going to be like the, I, I want to call it a boy his podcast, kind of play off of a boy his tech. And so this is going to be like the kind of like the pilot episode of what could potentially be the podcast format. So right now I am recording through OBS. Hopefully the audio picks up this time and hopefully it doesn't lag. Cause last time it lagged and the audio didn't pick up. So I had to cut the whole video. I'm looking at my screen right now, make sure everything is recording right. It looks like it is. I'm using my iPhone to record and it's just recording it through an app from OBS that records through your iPhone and it puts it on OBS. So I'm not sure if the quality is going to be less than what we used to. Doing what we used to. It looks kind of grainy, um, but we're going to see how it works out for this video. And, you know, hopefully it's all good and, and all. I have a deal. Uh, I do have a deal, DSLR, blah, 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 a DSLR camera that I had from like a long time ago that I actually might think about setting it up up on my setup right here and kind of like use it as a webcam for both work and uh and this so that'd be that's something i'm actually probably gonna look into but so this is just a pilot episode it's not gonna be too long um but usually podcasts you know could go on for hours uh my own probably won't be that long though i like to keep things short maybe keep it to no more than 45 minutes but this episode in particular won't be too long because it's just a test format um and let's go so i hope you like the overlay that i have here I have my logo over here uh twitter instagram oh my gosh instagram it can we get it can we can we get it there we go um they're both the same tag so i don't know anyone um but this one as you read from the title is going to be based on the samsung galaxy s21 launch event so at the time of this recording currently it's 116 not the time but the date uh, January 16th, so it happened two days ago technically, but technically for me one day ago because um, it's still Friday to me. <laughs> it's still Friday to me. Um, so I'm looking at, at my notes here, and this event uh, was a you know Samsung did thing. I didn't actually get to watch the whole event live, only see some of it, but it was a typical uh, pandemic era Samsung event where they had like a stage, they had the cut to users uh their people the workers using the, the devices to go a little bit more in depth um so they announced three well I, I guess technically five products but three i'm gonna keep it to three so they announced the like samson galaxy s21 line which is three devices they also announced the samson galaxy buds pro and they also announced samson galaxy tags um, which is something that I find really interesting because uh, I know Apple is supposedly working on Apple tags and those are, who knows where those are at right now but Samsung brought theirs out and for a pretty decent price of $25 and I know those rumors of Apple potentially making this cost around 50 which is definitely more than uh, Samsung and you know for something like that I would definitely try to keep the price low if I was Apple because those are things that you might want to buy in bulk and if you're going to charge like a premium for a, a tag thing, that's someone might just want to go to tiles because, you know, it's already out there and why not just use it? Even though with Apple, you do get the Apple ecosystem and I'm, I'm assuming with integration with Find My, it might be even better. But I digress. This is not Apple. This is not an Apple uh, episode. This is a SaaS episode. Um, so this is jumping to my notes here. So. Three phones were announced from Samsung, like I said, the S21, S21 Plus, and the S21 Ultra. So Samsung loves to do these three models. A1 loves to do multiple models of their flagship device these days. And I just find it to be extremely interesting that, that they're taking this route instead of like... Because Samsung have budget phones, but they still try to make their flagship more affordable. Um... One could argue that $800 is not affordable for, for phones, so either way, it's still expensive. And even between 
the gap price between the S21 and the S21 Ultra is not even that huge of a difference. It's like $300, 300 uh, $400 around. I guess I want to say a lot is a lot, but for the things we get for the, for the price difference is almost as if I don't know who would actually buy the base model unless you really want a small, excuse me, unless you really want a small phone. That's kind of like the only way I would see people actually going towards the S21 over at least a plus. Um, so just I have some notes down here and also have a uh, shout to CNET. I have their website open because I want to look at the specs of it so I can show you them right now or tell you them right now. So the Samsung Galaxy S21 starts out at start out at $800. Like I said, the screen size is 6.2 inches, so it's not terribly large, but it's not small. So it's not like an iPhone Mini. It's not a particularly small device, but it should be fine, you know. Um, it should be good enough. And then you got the uh, so there's there's different colors. You got Phantom Violet, Phant Phantom Pink, Phantom Gray, and Phantom White. They have like a lot of dual kind of color scheme with the the base the base model S21. Um, and these are plastic, so it's not gonna be glass or metal. The S21, S21 Plus are plastic phones. So if you like plastic phones. You know that's going to be your forte if you don't like plastic phones then i don't say <laughs> you might want to go for the ultra and pay that premium price um comes with a 4000 milliamp battery it's the, all of them across the line snapdragon 888 888 yeah uh 5g wi-fi 6 the good stuff bluetooth um and then the cameras these only have three cameras so it has the ultra wide it has the uh Ultra wide 12 megapixel and main 12 megapixel and then telephoto 64 megapixel on the S21. Then the S1 Plus, pretty much the same stuff across the board. Price is a thousand, pay twenty dollars more uh, for a bigger size phone, 6.7 inch screen. All of these do have 120 hertz. Um, all of them have 120 hertz, and I believe they all run at 2K 120 hertz, which is new for Samsung, so that's pretty big. Um, the all come with Android 11, the S21 Plus has the 4800 milliamp battery and the rest of it's same cross line same cameras same connectivity stuff um now i'm jumping into my notes because i took some extra notes regarding the s21 plus x21 ultra um and so i keep looking up because that's what my notes are i should probably bring this down to a, a seeable level <laughs> uh, all right so i'm just gonna move my windows around this is live so you're gonna see just like a podcast you know what happens happens <laughs> um so the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra starting price is $1,199. So that's not cheap. I'll be honest with you right there. It's not a cheap price. That's pretty expensive. Um, it has it comes with 128, 108 megapixel main lens, 12 megapixel ultra wide, two, two 10 megapixel telephoto, one that has three times zoom, another at 10 times zoom. It does have the OLED display at 4040p and it does render 120Hz at 2K, which is huge, huge, huge for Samsung. Apple doesn't even have 120Hz at all. <laughs> um, so, huge. Um, then you got the Qualcomm 888, which is also, as I mentioned, is runs on uh, similar to Apple's uh, silicone, I believe, on a 5mm uh, processor chip. So, that's also big like scientific tech stuff that is crazy thing we have all this computing power in such a small load chip now it's ridiculous <laughs> um it comes with a 5000 milliamp battery starts at 12 gigabytes of ram and goes all the way up to 16 if you get the 512 model base 128 gigabytes 256 uh whatever, you, whatever the second one is is the mid range and i think that's probably what most people go for if you're someone who think you're gonna need 16 gig 16 gigabytes of RAM on a phone, obviously gonna go for the most expensive, the most expensive one. I don't know what you can do with 16 gigabytes besides probably run some really smooth emulators. I actually want to do see what emulators do for this new new Snapdragon because honestly, I think it might reach some new heights and might be able to play some. Maybe one day we we'll get the PS2. I think I think we're ne we're, in, we're nearing there. Um, so that is the three Samsung phones. Um, the, I, when I saw the leaks, I originally thought that the design was really ugly. But after seeing it, you know, leaks sometimes don't or renders don't give you the full picture. After seeing that Samsung's event and some pictures online with like the Verge, seeing that, 
yada yada it looks pretty it looks beautiful i saw mkbhd video of his unboxing or not unboxing but he does overview and it look it look it, it looks chef kiss I, I, i'm a I'm it it's a good looking phone does it look better than iphone 12 pro max no but it's a good looking phone either way um also moving on i didn't even take notes on these because i was totally forgot so real time right here you're going to see me go to samsung.com because we're going to look at see what the samsung galaxy buzz look like because i actually don't really know um I, oh one big thing one big thing the samsung galaxy s21 ultra now has s pen support this is huge it's not the s pen support that you see in the note phone where the the, the pen goes into the phone it's, it's it's more of how it comes with the it's compatible with all s pens so the ones that come with s tab but so but it's a, it's a new pen a smaller pen i believe and so the way it works is if you buy a case you get this for a combination of 70 dollars to get the case and the pen pen by itself is like 40. um so that is extra price when you think about adding that towards the phone um so the case goes on the phone and the pen slips into like the side of the case it's cool it's not as intuitive as um you would normally get with the note but they are making a new S Pen that is the that has the Bluetooth capabilities that you might see in the Galaxy Note S Pen. But the S Pen that coming out at launch is just a basic, you know, basic of the basic pens that Samsung's offering. Not sure why they're doing this, but I, I, if I had to take a guess, pandemic messes up uh, production of stuff, so they probably just pivoted to do something basic while they get their Pro model ready. Um, so. The Samsung Galaxy Buds, and here we go right here. So, the Samsung Galaxy Buds, these are new. Samsung is finally making a pro version of the Galaxy Buds. Last year they had the Beans. They really they really went away from the model so quick. It kind of quicker than that, and I would even expect them to leave. And I found that really interesting because it just, just came out and they decided to drop it already, which, you know, uh, they have the reasons to do so, but I just find it interesting that they moved away from the design and went back to the traditional design that they have. Um, so these do have active noise canceling. That is the biggest thing coming for these headphones. You know, their competitors, AirPods Pro, had that already. They already did it. Um, who else makes small headphones? Everybody makes small headphones, and other people have noise canceling in some type of form in earbuds, but. Samsung's late to the game when it comes to noise canceling earbuds. I think even Surface, Surface head. I think the Surface earbuds have noise canceling. So, Samsung, you you're you're not on the money here. But they're finally here. Um, the set has better better sound. You know, um, I'm assuming they're gonna have some type of what you call it ambient mode. It does so. It has a voice detection that instantly switches from active noise canceling to ambient mode. That's cool. But that, I'm assuming you had to turn that on because that'd be pretty annoying if you're listening to music and someone you like say you walk in the street, pandemic is over, it's streets are crowded, you listen to music and you just it, of course it's loud and it just keeps like <laughs> I would be pretty annoyed. Uh, but I'm I'm assuming that's that's gonna be controlled in settings and you put that on at your own uh, at your own uh, pace, whatever. I'm trying to say here. <laughs> so it has inner, it has premium sounds. You know they're going for the premium sound. Um, I only used one set of Galaxy Buds before. The I think it's the second model that they came out with. Um, this one, okay. I don't like the form factor of it because it didn't fit in my ear too well. Um, so that's, that's just me. That was ooh, <laughs> my voice is cracked. That's just me. Uh, wasn't a real fan of it, but some people are. It has it has water resistance, so there's that. Uh, believe it has water charging. Maybe, 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 maybe no. It has it does does okay yeah. So it has wireless charging. They all have wireless charging. Everyone has wireless charging in, in these earbuds these days, you know. Nothing new there. Um, so those are those. Those are there, you know. Um, it's cool stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's cool stuff. Um, and the last thing that we touched on briefly for like a quick second, the Galaxy Tags. The, the funny thing about it, Samsung's not advertising. Like, I couldn't find these on the website at all. Like they don't even care about. It. I, I didn't watch the presentation all the way, so I don't know how much time they even spent on the Galaxy Tag. So that's something that is pretty funny. But for thirty, oh, that's thirty dollars. I thought it was twenty-five, but for thirty dollars, that's pretty cheap for for at, at least to me. 
Um, it helps you find your stuff. You put in your keys, put in your suitcase. Um, if you lose something, you find it. Do that. It's pretty basic. Um, so that's pretty much it. Just wanted to give you an overview of the Samsung Galaxy phone. I think they all look pretty good, quite honestly. I think Samsung is stepping back up. I feel I felt like the S20 models wasn't um, huge, wasn't no big improvements. But I think with the, as time goes on with phones, the improvements are small but substantial. And I think where you're going to see Samsung's most innovation is going to come from the Foles, the Foles devices that they have. So you probably won't get an event about the Foles up until maybe summertime but it, it might be maybe earlier since they did release these a little bit earlier um so i'm not certain anything on that front until spring summer um so we look forward to that but I th it's some small substantial upgrades the cameras look really 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 good um you see how those holds up to this iphone camera because the iphone camera to me is probably the best mobile camera out there it's the only camera i use right now so of course i'm gonna say that um but yeah uh, I'm not gonna get my hands on this phone. I'll be honest with you right here. Don't got the kind of funds. Sam's is not gonna send me anything. I'm a small little channel, so you won't, we won't more, more than likely not will not have any um, hands on with this device. Sadly, but it's okay. We, we, we we'll see what other YouTubers out there are saying, and we we'll revisit it maybe at some point. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this format, let me know in the comment below. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Um, this is coming at 16 minutes, so not too long. Um, and I do need to go to bed because it's almost 2 a.m. <laughs> and uh, I was playing Call of Duty all night long. Uh, I do want to stream sometimes too, so I, I think I'm gonna start streaming a little bit, uh, just to get more interaction with, with all of you who my subscribers. So thank you for watching. It's been it's been my pleasure, and I will see you all soon. Peace out.